Make sure you come over here to the purge menu. The chiller has to be off and shut down and make sure you put the purge into a stop cycle. You can do that over here via settings, under purge settings, and we will make sure we're in a stop mode. Now, if you're in the UPC2 series controllers, then you will have a setting in the control panel where you can go under the purge menu and set it to off. You also have that control with a 530 series under its purge menu, very similar to the TU set up here. We're gonna start with the purge. So we have these two lines. Both of these should have ball valves on them. So you're gonna crack the lines, make sure that the valves are holding. You're gonna know if they're not holding and when you take them apart and they've got a lot of uh, drawing in, then when you feel that, you know that the valves are not doing it. Now you're gonna hear some right out the gate and that's okay, but it should stop. But once you pull it off, get your finger on it. It's not drawing in, so we know that one's holding. And come over to this one, do the same thing. Slide draw, it stopped, we're good. Make sure of in this process is that this little flange here is clean. This should have pressure on it from the factory, so be careful of that whenever you go to open it. You want to hear a little bit of a spurt. Also, when you pick these up, make sure they've got the O-rings and they're in good condition. We're gonna put some nylog on these. They will fit inside of there, just like you see over here on this side. Those do compress down, and I do not recommend reusing those. I recommend putting the nylog here on the flange. This isn't fully seated. It can pinch when you go to tighten it down. So I don't know the torque spec offhand, but be very gentle with this. Ultimately, they're easy to over torque those O-rings. So just take it down to where it's tight. You shouldn't have to bend the line or anything of that nature. When you're done, something I recommend is go ahead and put the machine into a on and pump out. And we're gonna save that before you open the valves back up so that the little bit of atmosphere that gets in there while you're servicing it has the ability to get removed from the system. And it's also a good check to see if your purge is working properly because your compressor suction temp ought to start taking a pretty hard nosedive with that much atmosphere inside of the tank. It's had 30 minutes to an hour to go through its purge cycle and start to pump out whatever atmosphere it's going to. Then you can go ahead, we'll reopen our ball valves here that side of the system will be done. Then we move over to the oil side. As part of a regular annual maintenance and all the checks and manipulations we have to do to machine or when we're doing filter changes, because of how much we open it, I do recommend doing a at minimum 24 up to a 72 hour pump out limit disable. 